G'day Leo, going to do your love energy reading for August, see what love energy is coming towards you, this could be someone in the past, present or future, this could be about you, cross watches, this could be you, if it's not, it's probably someone else, it could be other people interested in Leo, not just you, so be aware, alright, don't shuffle, riffle shuffle on screen, I normally do it off screen, but Yay! Alright, love energy coming towards Leo. Three cards, please. Love energy coming towards Leo. Two there. One more. So we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Could be someone from the past. Could be someone from a past life you haven't met yet in this life. All right. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So having trust and faith, that something will happen between you two. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh. They get romantic feelings for you, Leo. Mm. Bottom of the deck, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So they're staying optimistic. Could be a bit of playfulness. Ooh, then a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They think it's safe to come in and love you. And they think you could be the one. Ooh, they're going to make the effort. Wow. Nice, Leo. Okay. Let's see what the girl is, hey? Oh, moving the whole table cloth. I'm going to jump anyway, so alright. Past life relationship. Tell me about past life relationship. Well, okay. So we have oh the world, the nine of cups, and the wheel. Ooh. So he's closed out a cycle in the past. There's still love here. As you either wish fulfillment or they're more emotionally. Fulfilled now. And the wheel's turning. They want the wheel to turn on this. Mm, there was closure. Something ended here. The cycle ended in the past. And they're wishing for this wheel to turn again. Another go round with you, Leo. There you are. heartbreak in the past because someone had a lot a lot a lot the most love in the deck a lot of love for you and it was heartbreak they had a lot of love mm, the lovers king of swords mm, they want this new beginning they mastered their mind wow all right Let's have a look at trust then. Maybe there wasn't trust in the situation. Tell me about trust. Tell me about trust. There's trust here. Tell me about trust. A little love energy coming towards Leo. Oh, thank you. Ace of Cups, woo! They're trying to trust and have faith that there's still love here, that there can be a new beginning in love. Wow. That says it all, doesn't it? Oh, yep. Yeah. And the Four of Wands, they want this to be a committed, stable relationship. 
the trusting that they're trying to trust and have faith that there is love between you still and that they that you can have this grounded stable passionate new beginning in something that's committed this time or committed temperance it's archangel michael blending the cups because uh, there was some sort of disappointment, confusion and illusion over what was being invested. And there was somebody got cut out for not coming correctly. Yeah, but not coming correctly towards the Ten of Cups. Ooh. Okay. Tell me about romantic feelings, please. What are these romantic feelings? That are worth exploring. Did something flip out there? No, it fell out. Okay. Kill. Cool. Alright. Um, that one, that one. Well, that might have been first, actually. Ace of Wands. Oh, ten of pentacles, I don't take reversals. And the queen of swords again. Wow. Romantic feelings, that passion, but wanting, they want a passionate new beginning. We've got two aces here. Ace of cups, ace of wands. But they want this to last a long time. And to come correctly. Romantic feelings, passion, stability, long-lasting stability is what they want. Coming correctly. I'm not taking any crap. <laughs> well, there's, I'm getting, there's no, there's no question about it. They want this, they have this passion and love for you and they want this to be stable. The romantic feelings are true. Ooh, six of cups, someone from the past. They've got the innocence of love. They want that back again. They want that love back again. Um, yeah, page of cups at the bottom now. Wanting to make that love offer an emotional offer, an emotional message, manifesting, but there's burden here about working together. Will it work? They don't know if it's going to work here. They don't know. They don't know. Will you work together or will it just be a burden? Possibly it was before. They don't know. Will the feelings be held back or will this transform into... A chance, another ch another chance. Will this it be right this time? Mm, a bit guarded about being hurt again. Yeah, they want something grounded and stable. They're conflicted because there's some truth that they've found out. Oh. And they've been watching and they want to speak their truth about some sort of stability and send a message of passion about how you're their soulmate. But they're unsure about this new beginning. Mm. And they're trying to be patient. They want it to grow, but they don't know. They're trying to look at it from a different perspective because they've got a massive amount of love for you, Leo. So they're staying optimistic, possibly coming in with a love message. Alright. Quick on screen shuffle. I already did shuffle them off the screen, but there we go. Three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Can you tell me? Love energy coming towards Leo. What else can you tell us? That went sideways, but it didn't come out. Come on, you can do it. 
this long. Come on. Two more. Oh, there we go. Got them. All right. So we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So they've got regret over something. Patience, I accept that everything happens in divine order. And growth, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Bottom of the deck is health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So there could have been some health, <coughs> something to do with their health that they've worked on here. They want happiness. They're using their imagination to come up with the courage because they have doubt. <clears throat> but they'll come in with purpose and there's tr trust again. Trusting. Ooh. Friendship. Humour. <laughs> they might just come in friendly, joking a little bit. But that's that's a lie. <laughs> They're afraid because they have love for you. Wow. But it could have been something wrong with their health before. They've worked on their health. Could be healthy body, healthy mind, healthy spirit. Who knows? But they seem to have gotten healthy. Okay, regret. Tell us about regret. What is their regret? The Chariot and the Queen of Wands. I'm getting that they regret they couldn't move on from the fact that there was someone else. That could have been what that heartbreak was about. Mm, that'll only be for some. Regret that they didn't move forward triumphantly and that they were confident within themselves to do that. They wanted to move forward triumphantly but and confidently. But there was regret that they didn't do that or did they move on without you with confidence no regret moving on without you mm, you'll know which way it fits magician at the bottom of the deck manifesting and then confusion and illusion no regret manifesting confusion they regret not manifesting this with you, not using all the tools that they had. And they want this new start. They want to take a leap of faith with something new. There's your card, Leo. And it's trying to be strong to offer something that's stable. All right. Tell me about patience, please. Everything happens in divine order. All right. Tell me about that. Yeah. Tell me about patience, please. Okay, now yeah, the good stuff. We got, ooh, the hermit. Ooh, yeah. The page of swords. The page of cups. And the king of cups. Okay, so they've been patient, they've gone within and done some self-work and gathered as much information as they can. They could be spying on you. <laughs> but I'm more getting that they've gone within and gathered as much information as they can before they can make this offer of emotion, sending a message, or, or could be sitting, they've gone within and they will send a message of information and emotion about how they've controlled their emotions now. 
they've gotten more stable and mastered their emotions after all that heartbreak that was back there in the past life. Relationship. Patience. Have patience while they go within and learn more on how to offer their love from a more mature um, position. Getting that too. So... Hmm. But I'm all oh, nine of swords. Yeah, they've been stressed about it. They've been up all night working on it, going through it over and over in their head, trying to heal this. Hmm. Yeah, it was driving them nuts. Going through all that information, the page of swords collects information, and that's all the information going through their head. Um, yeah, they're trying to be patient with this, even though they may have some sleepless nights about it because you are their wish fulfillment. They want to come in and offer stability, but they're holding back at the moment. Maybe only mm, they're holding on to you. The other thing, they're wanting to offer something stable. Because someone walked away and left this out in the cold, whatever was toxic could be third party and controllingness, being controlling. Ooh, could be ego and game playing. <laughs> wow. Whoever was doing this wasn't very nice, but they're more stable and grounded now. They're asking again for patience with this love. They want this new beginning with someone from the past that they caused or, or caused pain for both of you, a painful ending for both of you. They want to balance this out. Mm, not sure how, but they're trying to be strong about it, get the courage up to come in or do something about it. Okay, tell me about growth. Tell me about the growth this person's done that's coming towards Leo. Thank you. Okay, so we have we've got Bent, the Justice, Ten of Wands, Hierophant, and the Four of Wands again, which is up here. So they've grown. They've possibly faced their karmic justice here for whatever burdens that they had to carry or they caused. Balanced out the burdens, whichever way it, you know, however it goes. They've learnt things. With the Hierophant can be a teacher, but yeah, they've dropped the burden of it not being balanced. Regarding commitment, we've got two commitment cards here. They've grown. They're ready for this commitment. Ready for something stable. Justice has helped them relieve these burdens. Release these burdens. Hmm. Okay. It's had some spiritual teaching of some foot sword. Yeah, and healing. They've healed. Oh, wow. They've healed from that three of swords. That's here twice now. Healed. Yeah, they've grown and healed from the burden of that three of swords, possibly due to indecision when it came to love. They're asking to be patient while they work on these things, get themselves stable and grounded. But I think they they just got that final healing to go. I'm hoping they can balance things out with you. I'm also getting this as someone wanted to be single and snuck off from a relationship because they couldn't decide. And that's what caused the tower. And the passionate messages, there was a lot of love behind that. They were the wish fulfillment. They tried to speak the truth, but felt halted. It became a very heavy burden to try and make this successful, so it ended. 
they waited, but then they moved on and closed out the cycle. Yeah, that's that past life bit. Close out the cycle, but I mean, they're growing, they're healing, their health and heartbreak, they're, they're healing from that. But they may be a little bit guarded now. They're unsure about love because of this heartbreak. But they're hoping, they're hoping. Mmm, interesting. They've been patient with themselves, I'm also getting. Alright, love energy coming towards Leo. What else can you tell us? Expand or confirm? Okay, so we have the boat. Receiving what you need. Progression arriving. Moving on. Closure issues and karmic relationships. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So, moved on from the karmic. Whatever the karmic lessons were here. If it was a karmic relationship, have you have you healed from it as well? They seem to have grown. They have regret. They've been patient with themselves in their healing. And they've grown from that heartbreak and moved on from that. Moving on from that karmic relationship, what it was. I mean, if you've both learnt your karmic lessons, you could come back together and have a normal soulmate. Could have been karmic in the past life. interesting okay bottom of the deck clock need time takes time time cycles time to heal progress keys on the ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand a dragonfly be light-hearted finding out things could come things coming to light adapt change heal and abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss but mask, not showing feelings, addiction, yeah. Um, but yeah, in the past with this time, it could have just been there were other other options. Was there a string along? And they were just being light-hearted. Mm, coming back in for that abundance, but they're not showing their true feelings. Or well, someone didn't. But they have time to heal, so I've got three of swords here twice. Time to heal, so it did a number on this person. Whoever inflicted it, you or them, <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> um, yeah, this person is healing, but they've grown from it. So it's karmic. Karmic is lessons. They teach you something. But they obviously still have romantic feelings. Maybe they want to go around one more time. See if it can work out this time. Who knows? Alright, what would this love energy coming towards Leo? What would they like to say to Leo? It's pink and red. Okay. So we have, I want you next to me. I can't wait to see you again. I still love you. I'd say this is someone from the past. And you feel like home. Wow. Bottom of the deck is... I feel safe with you. I need time to heal. Yep, we said that. I blamed you, but it was me. Can we talk? I will contact you soon. We can work it out. You are beautiful. I can't right now because they're healing. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, it looks like they've done some growing and some learning, so they're more healthier, mind, body, and spirit. So perhaps they did need to learn those lessons. That's why this closed out in the past. It was karmic. 
the karmic relationship ended. It's moved on from that now. Mm, interesting, Leo. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll do another reading next week, see what's going on, eh? All righty. All the best. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.